All right, Blade Hacks, chapter one. All right, to start out, you're gonna need to be able to do the four fundamental grinds, which are going to be Soul Grind, Royale, Mizu, and Porn Star. Now I'm right footed, if you're left footed, obviously it's gonna be this way, this way, this way, and this way. All right, so, if you got those grinds down, you're definitely on your way. Um, one of the common problems I've been seeing is a lot of people will come up and do a topsail or try a topsail. It's going to be right for the topsail. So they come up and they do a topsail and they, they miss or they're not locking or something. So one of the reasons for that is you're probably not doing a back royale. So if you can do a royale grind, your next step is going to be, hey, let's do a back royale because the Royale grind is no different, it's just the approach. So if you can sit on a back rail, then you can topsail. So when you jump on, same thing. Your balance should mainly be on your left foot. That way you can glide. This will, this will come important for transfers later for seizure skating, which is another volume. But anyway, so when you come up and you're going for your back rail, you're actually already doing a topsail. You just don't know it. So once you got that back right down, you can play with it and just kind of maneuver your foot around. And when you're solid, same approach, you're just not twisting this foot. All right. If you got that down, then you are a lot further. Now, the next thing we're gonna talk about is unities. If you can already do Unity, great. If you can do a Porn Star and you can't do Unity, this will help you out. So, you come up, you do a Porn Star. It's very simple. Your, your, your balance on this trick is kind of gonna be half and half because of how your body's going. Now, once you get really good, you can focus on putting on your sole plate or on your backside plate because then you can do step overs, which is really, really fun. Anyway, so, say you can do a Porn Star. Well, you might not have known this, you can do a unity grind. Again, it's the same thing. You're just shifting a little bit on your ankle. So when you go up and you can do a porn star, just start playing around with it. Grind the porn star and while you're going, move your foot. And then once you got the habit of it, come up, boom, unity. Which leads us to our next grind. If you can do a unity, you can do a Zavanna. Now, if you want to argue about it, well, then go watch a different video because this is just what I learned in the 90s. So, if you can do a Unity, Unity going this way, then you can do a Zavanna, which is going this way. So, to do that, it's going to be the same approach. So, the difference being, here you're not really having to move much. On the savanna, you're going to have to completely rotate and kind of shift your right foot over your left if you're going right foot dominant. Okay. okay, next, if you can do a right out, guess what? You can also do a full tour, or as we Germans like to call, Fafegnügen. It's fun to drive. All right, so. Anyway, once you got a Royale down, imagine you're rewinding it. Boom, full torque. So, it's going to be the same exact approach. Now, what helps on this one is to learn a switch 50-50. 50-50 being the same thing as a Royale, except that the back foot is leaning in as well. So, you don't have to learn a switch 50-50, but it would help. So let's say you got a Royale down, you got your switch 50-50 down. Well, same thing, now you're just gonna lean into it. Now this gets a little tricky, and we'll go over that later when I actually grind the box. But it is very, very simple to just over torque it. So you wanna kind of start out and just barely torque that foot. But once you get the hang of it, again, it's a, it's a Royale, it's the same thing. You're just going the other balance. Now I put most of my weight on my right foot. That way, again, you can 
going back to seizure skating. We'll talk about that another time. Okay. So. All right, another shortcut for me and hopefully soon for you is if you can do a Royale grind and you're confident enough to play around with your left foot, in this case, it's not dominant foot on this grind, it's the right foot dominant, then you actually, there's two things. One, you can start learning a backslide, but what I'm trying to teach you here is you can actually do an alley of soul, switch. The reason being is on a Royale, your balance, again, is right here on the right foot. So, if you got the hang of that, guess what? You can do some shallow salt. Because when you're grinding, you play with it. Move on the other side here. So when you're grinding, for a switch alley of salt, which it's funny, it's harder with my hands. I don't know why that is. Anyway, here you go. Right off, grind it, move the foot over. So, boom. All my weight, see I missed it, but I'm still on. Because you should be dominant on your right foot if you're right foot dominant. That being said, you can learn which alley of soul in probably an hour by just focusing on the tap, which we'll go over on the box later. But basically all that is, this is your foot. Your silver is just kind of guiding around there. And that should be it for chapter one. Okay, so going back to what I said earlier, the four fundamentals in Again, this is the way I teach, so this is specific to how I learned. They are the Porn Star, the Mizu, the Soul, and a Royale. Now, 50-50 and some of these other grinds that you think are, are fundamental, it's not that they aren't, but in the switch-up combination and to learn the most number of grinds, for me personally, these four grinds, I had to get down to be able to. All right, so we're gonna go outside. We're gonna skate my rail. The weather sucks, my box is kind of flooded in the backyard. So we're gonna skate the rail. Okay, so we're outside. It's actually cold for once. All right, this is the rail we're gonna use. Next time we'll use the box when the weather's better. So what we're gonna start out with is our four star to Unity. Again, this kind of trick that I was talking about. So, once you're warmed up, I'll kind of show you what I mean. All right, so you're gonna do that a couple times. It might, it might take you longer, but once you're on it, you got that. You got a unity, so take your first approach. It's like a porn stock. Boom, unity. All right, so again, we got the unity down, coming in at like this. Boom, you're on it. Now, for Savannah, again, this, this might take you a minute to get, but once you got it, boom. Same approach, the difference is you're, gonna, you're going to unity in a different direction, so the balance is going to be off. But the concept is the same. Okay. Alright, next we're going to talk about the mistake of rail, sorry, back rail to topsail. So, alright, we start out with a back rail. So, same as a rail, you approach it. So, once you got this grind down, there's no difference in the topsail, but now you have that balance. So, if you watch my foot, my body didn't shift. Boom, boom. Now I feel confident. Go back to the rail. Okay, now 
we're going to talk about the rail to Alley of Soul. So assuming you got the rail down, again, the body didn't really shift. A little slippery. So now, approach it, rail, change out your foot. Do that one more time. The reason I was telling you that you only need one foot for the alley of soul is you can take your foot off the alley of soul like this. That's when you know you have full control. Okay. All right, well, hope you like those uh, trick tips and shortcuts, blade hacks, whatever you want to call them. In the next video, we are going to talk about some basic exercises and stretches and workout things that I do and you can do them with or without machines to perform better clean up your style and just overall makes skating easier